Yo, what's up, family? It's just another day in the life of a nobody. What up? Gotta watch out for the ops, man. I'm just doing. Action edition. Reaction edition. Subtraction edition. Multiplication edition. And today we will be reacting to the Deadly War in Camden Active Gang versus 51st. 51st. Shout out my boy Dan Daniel for recommending this video. And shout out Kid Nerd because this is his video. You know what I'm saying? That I will be reacting to. You know what I'm saying? Original link will be in the description. The description. You know what I'm saying? This takes place in the UK. That's my boy Daniel told me. You know what I'm saying? He said, you should get, get in tune with the UK because they've been over there ganging it out. War, you know? All the murders and stuff like that happen. I don't know why this excite people, but it doesn't excite me. You know what I'm saying? But today is a different day. Same Rico shirt. You know what I'm saying? But. Still looking crispy, like a dispy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? No tattoo, had to remove for work, man, that's what my boss told me, so I had to do what he did, you know what I'm saying? This is longer than usual, y'all, this is 10 minutes and one second, you know what I'm saying? But we finna go ahead and get into this reaction, because we trying to see, like, if we finna go crazy or what, you know? Dang, man, you looking spiffy, oh my god. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get my tattoos back, though, because I told my boss, if I can't come out that storm, I'd snatch the ass up, you know, but... That besides point, let's get into this, though. Two men have been stabbed to death in two separate attacks in Kentish Town in North London last night. The body of the first victim, believed to be in his late teens, was found a couple of hours before police discovered the second victim, who's thought to be in his 20s. Camden, the heart of fashion and culture in London, with some of the most expensive house prices and biggest tourist attractions in England. And from the outside in, it looks like the perfect place to live. Well, that's what the government want to show you. Once we go deeper into the lower income estates of the borough, we start to see a different story. A story of the country's most deprived estates in London being separated from roads of millionaires literally by one street and how these estates have created a deadly gang war which has taken over the borough in recent years but before I get into the video be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications let's get into the video like subscribe it's free who don't like free shit just saying shout out my boy kid nerd you know <laughs> Nerd. So Camden is a borough in northwest London and is very, very close to the centre of London. But despite the area being so close to the rich centre of the capital, in the last few years the war in the area has been going brazy. So historically, unlike neighbouring areas like Islington and Bren, Camden's beef situation hasn't been as active as others. But this will change. Dang, UK ganging it out like today. Throwing up all type of 4K trades and all type of shit. They going crazy. I ain't know UK get down like that, but it is games everywhere though, so I can't be too like shocked, you know what I'm saying? Because they are everywhere. Raised around 2016, day. when a man from Camden called Merce had his watch stolen from another man from another area in Camden. After this, there was some back and forth, which resulted in a big. Dang, my boy looked like he looked like he beat people ass for a living or something. God damn, my boy, you need to go get your headline straight though or something. Shit. I'm glad I have gone to the UK because you fucking around fuck me up or something. Damn from another area in Camden. After this, there was some back and forth, which resulted in a big rivalry in the borough, literally between groups of kids that grew up together. One side being gangs built up from a few estates in Camden, which were the peck. Last time I paused, but ain't that always the story though? They grow up together, used to be friends, now they beefing. More than likely they say, oh, it's over a female. Man, she had that wet, wet. Everybody had to get a piece. And somebody got it and took it personal. You know what I'm saying? She had the wet, wet. Somebody took it personal. Was like, man, that was my main chick, man. I got to go get this nigga, man. I can't let him get away with this shit, you know? But, you feel me? Y'all need to let's let that go, man. Because by the time y'all get a little bit more older, she ain't going to be the only one with the best wet, wet. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't, don't shoot the messenger, you know? Good thing I ain't going to the UK because I probably do pop a couple of them in my ass, but I'm gonna go ahead and get back into this. But she ain't got the best wet wet. I'm telling you, there's too many women out for that, man. <laughs> Quarter gang from the Peck Water Estate, the QC gang, which were from a road in Camden called Queen's Crescent, and Combo, which is a gang made up from an estate called Regent's Park in Cumberland Market. Then I just say it. 
They linked up together and called themselves 51st due to their postcodes being in NW1 and NW5 which is where the 5 and the 1 come from. And from the other side of the feud we have a gang called Active Gang which some people may know from their songs and they're from the Ago Grove estate in Camden. And Active Gang are affiliated with another gang called CT1 and NRB which they all linked up and called themselves 70. I got a question though is everybody got a projects? I didn't even know that. I, I'm from Chicago, as y'all know. But I didn't know everybody had a project. God damn. Everybody got a project. We all trench babies. Fuck it. First. And just like that, the war was now on between 51st and 71st over this watch being stolen. So Camden is actually home to a big Somalian community, with a big portion of them residing in Ager Grove, which is the territory of the 71st gang. Such a big community that the majority of 71st members are actually Somalian. And if you watched one of my previous videos on Mali Strip, Somalian people are people you don't want to be messing with, which you will understand more in this video. And this beef was on go- Those kids look like they're about 13. I told y'all, all the drillers, I ain't gonna cap. Be like 12 and under, bro. Don't be the real ones, bro. They're the ones you got to watch out for. The dude that's like 30, he going to be the one that want to talk to young blood. You don't want to take it that young blood. You don't know why I am young blood. You know what I'm saying? Because then to be the people that, you know what I'm saying? Home skillet, you know what I'm saying? All that, you know. We ain't need to take it there, you feel what I'm saying? Because they, they, they good. They out the way. It be the youngest that will run up on you. Be like, man, give me your cash. You be like, uh-uh. Pop you on the kneecap. Oh, shit. Damn, what the fuck? You know? So, look at this, bro. He look like he about 12. My man look like he about 15, bro. They are, they, they the most dangerous, you know. They in East London. London. I wanted to come out there and shit, but now, y'all, man, look at, look at this kid, bro. Damn. Shit. He's smirking with this. Damn. People you don't want to be messing with. But you will understand more in this video. And this beef was on goal from early. In 2017, two members of the AG gang, which represents 71st, executed a triple shooting on three 51st members. Two of the members ran to a nearby hospital. But while hospital staff was treating the two members, they also called police to the hospital to investigate the situation. Once the two realized the police was called, they didn't even care about their treatment anymore and attempted to run out of the hospital while still having bullet wounds lodged in them. But the police ended up detaining them and arresting them after a struggle between the both. The reason they wanted to run was because all three members are actually wanted for suspicion of grievous bodily harm, which all three were eventually arrested for. Now of course, 51st weren't happy about this triple shooting and they were trying to get it back in blood. So they went lurking on the Ager Grove estate and shot a rival in the face with a shotgun. The rival actually managed to survive. <laughs> this is the reason why we got a problem we got though. Did y'all just see that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep balling, but look, he had to say that. <laughs> they decided to go get it back in blood. Oh my god. Now, of course, 51st weren't happy about this triple shooting and they were trying to get it back in blood. So they went lurking on the Ago Grove estate and shot a rival in the face with a shotgun. The rival actually managed to survive and make his own way back to hospital. But this beef really kicked off in a situation that wasn't even. Man, this game's boring. <sighs> Isn't there the any ad. good game out there that's fucking ass? <laughs> link to both of the gangs. So on February 2017, a 16-year-old girl had an Airbnb party in Kensington, West London. You know those type of parties where a girl invites seven different types of gangs and asks people to leave their beef at home? Yeah, one of those. <laughs> I knew, bro. It always a female that come up in a situation. She probably started them beef and I ain't gonna cap. You know that how that shit be though. Everybody be at school and mother. Leave the bullshit at the door. If you gotta put that on the post, you know damn well it's gonna be some action next show shit. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Oh my god. <laughs> Motherfucker come up with that big. We some hair busters. We some hair busters. You know what I'm saying? Other gang coming. We gonna knock your ass out cause y'all some hair busters. You know what I'm saying? Look, that shit crazy. For real though, I ain't gonna cap. So at this party, there were people from all over London there, but a few uninvited guests tried to pull up to the party. One of these people being a boy from 51st called Dotty and his friend, who pulled up to the party with a gun and knife looking for trouble. But the night turned left for Dotty and his friend, and ended up with Dotty being chased down by 20 young boys. And when the boys caught up to him, they stabbed him 13 times altogether. Oh my god, they said for one, 20 motherfuckers on one motherfucker. But I didn't know UK was getting down like this. Fuck! That's crazy. That is mad crazy. It actually resulted in Dotty dying, which four 16 year old boys from Hackney and Tottenham were sentenced and convicted for. So 51st were mad about this situation, obviously, that their member Dotty was just stabbed to death. So they were out trying to get revenge. So they went out for revenge in a stolen BMW and travelled all the way from Camden, northwest London, to Hackney in East London, and then to Tottenham in North London, because that's where the people who killed. My boy Kid Nerd, bro. 
I'm snitching. I'm snitching. I'm snitching. He told us. Just saying. We thought you were from, but they ended up finding no one from both areas. But they weren't trying to go home without spilling some blood first. So 51st went all the way back to Camden to look for 71st members and found an affiliate member of 71st called AK and killed him. But they weren't done there. They were riding for a whole another two hours looking for more 71st members and found a 71st member called Mitch's little brother. Mitch's little brother attempted to run into a cab and begged the driver to drive him to safety, but the driver refused to move and he was dragged out of the cab and stabbed to death by 51st members. All within two hours of their first murder they committed that night and six members were sentenced to life for these murders. Then on September 4th 2017, a member from 51st called Phillips and the older brother of the second boy who died that night called Mitch bumped into each other on Hampstead Road in Camden and started getting into a little altercation which ended with Phillips stabbing Mitch in his arm, neck and back, leaving the knife lodged into Mitch's bones and murdering him. An undercover policeman just happened to witness this whole situation and ran down Phillips and arrested him and now Phillips is serving 17 years to life for this murder. After this 17 years to life? Oh my god. Bro, 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 This is fucking wild. Like, I don't know why ain't nobody covering nothing like this. They is going Bro, they out there doing a lot. For real, for real, bro. This shit crazy. I did not know they was getting down like this, bro. I did not. Shout out my boy Daniel again for letting me know about this, bro. Because I was sleeping. And you just woke my goof ass up. I ain't going my ass to the UK. I ain't gonna lie, London. I'm good on that. Won't be catching my black ass over there. You know what I'm saying? Get mistaken or something. You know, getting shanked. They shanking niggas. They even got a. They even got a grinder stick. They put out the whole motherfucking machete. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking what the fuck? Pitchforks, all type of shit. Stabbing your ass with forks, knives. Damn, my goof ass be over there, been bleeding out of the shit. Damn, lacerations all over my shit. Fuck. God damn, London. That is fucking crazy this, the beef in Camden went under some serious investigation by police, and members from all sides started to get taken down for conspiracies, firearms and drug charges. And the beef started to die down a bit, but then 2019 hit, and quite a lot of the members that were locked up started to come out, and taking in consideration that 51st members just before everyone started going in prison and killed 3 71st members, 71st members started coming out of prison on some demon time, and were most definitely looking for revenge with no warnings. The first signs that 71st was really back was on a cold Tuesday in February, 1am in the morning a 51st member called G Squeeze was walking past the Sainsbury's in Camden when a 4x4 crashed into him and several 71st members jumped out on him like a pack of wolves, stabbing him repeatedly in his head and body, leaving him literally paralysed and not being able to walk. But that wasn't enough for 71st members, they wanted someone dead for their friends. So on April 1st 2019, a suspected member of 51st called C Miz and his cousin were walking down Grafton Road in Gospel Oak Camden when four 71st members jumped out a stolen black car and started chasing them. C Miz and his cousin split up, but unfortunately the men who jumped out of the car locked on to see Miz, and see Miz ended up dropping to the ground when the 71st member locked on to him. These motherfuckers got scope some of they shit man. Call of Duty in this bitch, they got him in my sights. Got it. Damn started to stab him repeatedly with machetes and then run from the scene. After this murder, 71st members made a song called Congo and the reason why they called it Congo is because Seamus was actually a refugee from Congo after him and his family fled the war from over there. And members repeatedly in their songs say that they get their weed from Congo not Cali, pretty much just trying to say that they're smoking on Seamus. And as I said before, the majority of these 71st members are Somalian. So after all this, there was news going about in Camden that 51st members were out on the lurk and any Somalian they see they're killing heard some really strong intelligence that there is going to be revenge for Calvin's killing and his friends are have literally said they are going to go out and kill any Somali in retaliation so I just want to make that really clear this is any Somali is that like related to like tamales or some shit like that sounds so close to the word tamale but shit I don't want to say it wrong and then it means something else so yeah, whatever she said, that's what I said. I right, y'all, I right, go, go, go. It's from a young Somali woman in Camden, who's 24 years old, and basically they are basically we 
um, strongly suspect they're going to go out tonight and kill a Somali. Which is probably a bit of a stretch. But on the other hand, 71st members kept saying that they're warring with Jadiz, which is basically the Somalian word for West African people. Because you have to remember, despite Somalians being dark skinned and African, a lot of Somalians don't really see themselves the same as other black people. So this was kind of turned into a race war between Somalian and black people in Camden, which is just all wrong for so many reasons. But 71st weren't happy enough with the killing of C Miz. They wanted to spill more blood. So August 12th, 2019, six members started circling the states of 51st members in a stolen Ford Fiesta and a stolen Sia. When they spotted 16 year old culprit and other members coming out of a restaurant around 10.30 p.m. Culprit and other members ran to a nearby set of blocks near Houston Road. But 71st members found them later on that night and three members jumped out and chased them down, catching up to the 16 year old 51st member called Culprit. Culprit was running for his life and literally screaming for help, banging on neighbors doors to let him in so he could escape his attackers. But when the 71st members caught up to him, two 71st members held him, while a third member repeatedly pushed a one foot long zombie killer knife through his chest. While what the fuck is that? It's not a melee weapon, what the? Oh my god. This is, a, this is like a mini Sora. Y'all know Sora for Kingdom Hearts. That's his blade, for me. They around here just carrying that, but god damn. You ain't got to worry about a motherfucker pulling out the yak yak over. They got to worry about a motherfucker pulling out. You going to get hit with one of them motherfucking samurai swords or something. Ah! Oh, shit. Damn. This shit crazy. I didn't know. I ain't know in London they was getting down like this, bro. I ain't going to cap. Oh, damn. But it was coming out of his back. And when the 71st members were done, the killers were said to be running away after laughing hysterically, which is what bystanders said. And culprit, he was just any normal kid from London. He was talented at football and even had trials for Southampton Football Club, but started getting involved in the local gang and brushed aside his football and unfortunately became a victim of the streets. Now, as these back and forth normally go, 51st were now looking for revenge on their recent L's. And there were many stabbings across the month. And early on in September, there was a case of three killings in five days in Camden. One of these being a man from a completely different area all the way in East London but unfortunately he was walking at the wrong place at the wrong time so he was actually walking on Queen's Crescent Estate which is a hotspot for 51st members and was shot and killed in a drive-by being mistaken for a 51st member. Just an hour before another woman was stabbed to death just a few hundred yards from the situation and four days later a 71st member called Nuts was stabbed to death by a gang of 51st members with machetes outside one of the busiest areas in London Camden Tube Station. My boy Kid nerd, bro. If you was trying to block out any one of those faces, I just want to, just want to throw this, throw this out there to you. Huh? You ain't do a good job, but that's fucked up. Mistaken identity just for being in the area. So he, so you telling me people can't even live there, bro? That means people can't live there. And yes, I'm whispering, cause somebody from UK hit this. You know what I'm saying? They probably think I'm snitching. Then I get hit with one of them. Come here, boy. Oh shit, damn. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. I'm not going out there. Station. And for the longest, a lot of people didn't even know all this stuff was going on until a 71st member called Suspect started jumping on the drill scene, calling himself the Camden Grim Reaper and releasing some of the most disrespectful tunes towards his ops. So much that police take down pretty much any song that the gang uploads, which really started to bring some attention to what's happening down there and definitely got the attention of me. Especially a song from Suspect called Dugout, which is probably one of the most disrespectful songs I've ever heard and really makes you reacting to that right after this. I'm going to that active game suspect dugout. And he got his face covered, so that means every one of them got their face covered. So, man, 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 man. It's madness going down now for real. I'm thinking Iraq, you know what I'm saying? Chicago, man, getting it busting. You know, Atlanta getting it busting, you know what I'm saying? Or Memphis going crazy, you know, because I heard about that. But I ain't no down here in London. They was going crazy like this. Oh, my God. Got me breathing hard and shit, and I ain't even got nothing to do with the situation. I just feel like reacting to this right now. It's putting me in a beef, you know. Shit! Don't send me this no more, man. I'm good. Deep, how tap this whole beef is. In one of his lines, he says, the Same place we used to play runouts, the same place his chest got dug out. Same place I was telling you play out, it's the same place I'm telling you come out. Which really makes you think, damn, these guys were close friends at one time, and now they're trying to kill each other. All stemming from a little small altercation that happened a couple years back. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video, and peace out. 
first thing first, I want to say rest in peace to everyone in this video that they had sadly met they they fatal end. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know us. R.I.P. to y'all. And if y'all enjoyed yourself, subscribe. It's free. Who don't like free shit? You know what I'm saying? Leave in the comment section below if you want to react to some praying. It ain't this shit. Just saying. This is like Loki giving me the chills. You feel me? Um, Like, you know, share, tell everybody about us, you know, spread the word. But don't forget to subscribe, though, because it's free. Who don't like free shit? You can give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, depending on how you feel. But, bro, this is wild, bro. That's all I got to say. This is wild. But I'm going to go react to that song, though, because I really want to see what's to that. I love you guys. I'm out.